island is increasingly known as the centre of the golfing world, and one course that packs as much charm as it does prestige is Sleeve Russell Golf and Country Club. Owned by the same group that runs the world-renowned Belfry in England, it means that you're guaranteed a spectacular golfing experience, along with that holiday feeling of getting away from it all. Situated on 320 acres of landscape gardens, the golf course utilises 50 acres of lakes. The lakes aren't just for admiring, they offer plenty of challenges for any level of golfer. And to talk us through part of the challenge is the head teaching professional, Gordon Smythe. He shot a 69 around this world class layout, so he's well qualified to comment. Henrik Stenson, a number of years ago, played in Challenge Tour event here and holds the course record. Um, also matched by Tobias Breer from Germany in the same tournament, and that's 66. Gordon begins our brief tour on the second. Number two, uh, 434 off the back, definitely a demanding tee shot. You really have to place the ball. I would definitely try to hit rescue off it. You need to cross a, a bunker off your tee shot and obviously avoid the water. Second shot is to an elevated green and it's definitely one to two clubs more than the actual eye would see. The green is definitely well bunkered. Uh, it's well hidden. It's an uphill shot, uh, so you have to take enough club to get up to that back pin position. It's a two-tier green. If you are pin at the front, balls at the back, it's a treacherous putt, and opposite way, it's, it's a treacherous putt uphill as well. More gems await on the back nine. Yeah, 12th hole, one of the greatest driving holes in Irish golf at the moment. Uh, you really have to, off the back tee, take it over the corner of the lake, and it's a great tee shot, uh, really a nerve-jangling tee shot, all right. I would use uh, a driver. Some players do use tree wood off it just to place it. Driver tree wood, generally, depending on wind, uh, you'll be left with uh, six, seven, eight iron into this hole. Green would be definitely jutting out into that same lake, so a left is not the option. Green at 12, slopes from front to back, uh, an uphill putt. It's a newer green than most. The green was moved slightly more into the water to make it a bit more of a demanding hole. It's a real improvement to the previous hole. We continue the challenge on the back nine, with Gordon Smythe about to play the signature 13th hole. 529 off the back tee, uh, a great par five. Uh, the lake that was on 12 would run up the left hand side of this hole, and an iconic SR sign uh, would be definitely the line off this back tee if you're long enough to just to take it over that SR and then have a chance to take it onto the green. The second shot is a real challenge. It's tempting to go long, but there's a well placed bunker to collect those shots. The water is very prominent on this hole. The green would slope from uh, back to front. It's quite a demanding, very fast green at times as well. And behind the green is exactly where Gordon ends up today. Though the greenside bunker isn't a bad position to be in for two shots on a testing par five. Gordon negotiates the bunker with confidence and is in good shape for a birdie. And we finish off the Sleeve Russell Challenge now with one final test. 18 hole, 540 off the back tee, uh, a very demanding tee shot. If you get your tee shot away, you can have a cut at this green, but the tee shot is all important that you, you get, do get it into position. The 18th proving that Sleeve Russell is a testing layout that rewards smart play, so any visitors will be hoping for some Irish luck. It's a difficult course. We would have several big tournaments, uh, obviously the biggest tournament in uh, Great Britain and Ireland pro-am-wise we'd have annually and by the scores you, you can see that the pros do struggle around here. It's a great course and each year it's improving and it's getting more mature.